What's up everybody and welcome to the Navi Power Armor mod. So this is a really cool mod that totally ran under the radar for me. I've never heard about it until it got updated today. And uh, yeah, so basically, first and foremost, it's a little confusing um, how it all works. So I'm going to show you kind of step by step how all the different features work. It's pretty straightforward once you see it. It's just worded weirdly. Um, so yeah, so you're going to come to Vault 111. You're going to come over here, obviously. And then you do have all of the different pieces of the Power Armor and everything in this little uh metal box right here so that's where you're gonna get all that stuff so first and foremost this does only work for women it's a mod made for women so obviously i changed my character to a woman i'm using a lacy underwear mod also because uh, i don't want to be nude and uh yeah so basically what we have here let's uh put that on there so I, what you get in that little box is all the power armor parts but more importantly you get this cool pilot suit so I think the pilot suit is really cool. I think it looks actually uh, really nice. I especially like it on the back, but on the front right here, you can see it has, uh, it's not the highest quality texture, but it does have some cool, like uh, different words on it. I don't know what the better way to say that. Some like engravings and all that. And then you have these cool things down on the legs. But as I did say, I do really like the back, which I guess is a bit more important considering that's pretty much what you're going to see as you play in the pilot suit. But yeah, so as you can see, the back has that cool little design. I don't know really what that's called or anything like that. But again, just wanted to show off the pilot suit a little bit because it's a big part of this mod. So now that you've gotten your pilot suit, now what? Uh, well... I'll show you. So basically, you're going to have to get a blank power armor frame, so such as the one right here, and you're going to get in the blank power armor frame. So we're going to put in our fusion core really quick, and uh, yeah, so, but you're going to see what's going to happen in a second. Oh, oh god, oh god, I'm screwing up already, and uh, alright, so let's try that again. You're going to want to get in the blank power armor frame, or just the normal power armor frame, and in a second you'll see, oh, oh. Yeah, so then your power armor will change to a female power armor. So as you can see, or a female power armor frame. So as you can see, this is pretty much totally different. Um, I'm actually going to show you, I did place down another piece of power armor, just so we can show you the comparison of the two. That's the normal frame, this is the female frame. So I'm sure the ladies out there will appreciate you to get a lot more boob plating, it looks like. There's that uh, giant like tank looking thing. But then all around, it is uh, pretty cool. It makes it kind of seem a lot slimmer and uh, lightweight almost, which I guess is appropriate for women. They typically are smaller than men. But uh, yeah, you get a lot of tube things, but it does go with the same general like texture kind of. It, it carries the same old looking, I, I don't really know how to explain it. It looks like an old piece of power armor, basically. And then from behind, I feel like it even looks so much smaller from uh, like the backside here. It doesn't look like there's nearly as much bulk on the power armor. And you get all those like tubes. I feel like this one, it seems like you have the framework being all those different tubes. It almost looks like PZ PVC pipes, but I imagine they are metal in the game. And yeah, so it's just a nice little addition. Nothing too game changing, but pretty cool nonetheless, especially considering that's the, not the main point of this mod. So now comes the point where we actually get to use all those power armor pieces. So, oh yeah, and by the way, as soon as you jump out of that, it won't change. So, as you can see, if I put on the lacy underwear again, uh, when I get into this, it won't actually be, it won't change again. So, it's an interesting way of doing that. Um, basically, you have to be wearing that, the Navi... Uh, pilot suit in order to get that crazy different female power armor. So I think that's actually kind of a cool feature. Uh, I wish there was a standalone version. Maybe it still requires the Navi pilot suit, but I don't know. Still a cool feature nonetheless. But yeah, so now we actually get to the power armor. Let me actually go and transfer all the pieces. But yeah, so basically you get all these power armor pieces from the little thingy over there, uh, the metal crate, and uh, if I could actually transfer them. Yeah, there you go. So now I transfer them all on, and as you can see, you get this actually really cool looking power armor, at least I think it's a really cool looking power armor right here. And uh, obviously there's a little bit of clipping issues over there, but uh, yeah, and this one, one is does have a paint job, so uh, that's why one, I think that leg has it, that's why it looks slightly different. But uh, yeah, so the Navi, car, uh, Navi power armor is meant for it to look like a cat, that's what cat, it means cat in the guy's language whoever the person that made this does not speak english so yeah now you have all the obviously the typical things you could change the different mods and all that the different models um one of them as you can see yeah this one does have military paint so let's put this back to what is a good paint job we could check out not the military paint um let's see we could do brotherhood of steel paint that one looks kind of cool so yeah let's go with the brotherhood of steel paint i'll put those on all the pieces 
Yeah, I changed my mind. I thought the default paint looked a lot better, but nonetheless, once we actually get to the head, you get some pretty interesting stuff here. So as you can see, let's see, where is it? Uh, no add on. Yeah. So as you can see, once you get to this, we have, this is the default head right here, but then you can actually get an Anubis deco and increases intelligence. So I think that's supposed to look more so like a, ha a cat or something like that. And then you actually get a cat head. So I don't, maybe, maybe it's not supposed to, whatever. Maybe I don't know what an Anubis is. Maybe an Anubis is something, but uh, I thought it looked like a cat. And then this one obviously gets the stereotypical cat ears. I'll give you guys a close up in a second. And then finally we get the rabbit head. So these are all pretty funny and pretty interesting. Nonetheless, they're pretty distinctively different and nicely made different, uh, cat, different like textures and heads and all that so uh let's actually jump in the power armor i'll give you some close-ups of the power armor itself and then we'll check out the three different heads and then we'll see what it looks like in action so now with an actual close-up of the power armor as you can see it does look really nice obviously again we are using the no material paint and one thing i do really like is i feel like it flows well with the power armor frame and the actual pilot suit that you do wear before we saw some clipping on the legs that's actually because it was using the normal frame and not this one i also like the little features like you can see the paint is more worn on one than the other which is a feature like these are both using the same material mod and all that and then when you actually get down to like the shoe area it, it feels very womanly. I don't know if that makes sense, but they feel uh, like they're high heelish almost. So I, I thought that was pretty funny nonetheless. So now I did put on the Anubis head as well as I changed it to the Institute paint. So as you can see, this head, uh, I think the texture on the head's actually a little, could use a little bit of work, but the modeling of its of the head itself it looks really really nice and we do have a cool institute logo on the chest piece now and it kind of turns everything white and black but yeah really cool i do wish the eyes glowed a little bit better it almost looks like a, that's just the sun reflecting off the right eye there but uh that would be cool a cool little addition i would love to see but otherwise i think it looks really good i really like this head although i think the cat head might be one of the favorites because that one looks cool as well so I think this one might be my favorite as well. Now you're checking out the cat head, obviously, and uh, I think this one looks really nice, especially from the front. It almost looks like the dead mouse head, though, I think. Uh, the ears a little bit, a little, and, or maybe just the head, circular head, and I'm using the vault paint, vault tech paint now. As you could tell, we do have the vault tech logo on the chest piece there. Now let's check out the final headpiece, which is the bunny. And now finally, I called it the bunny, but it's the rabbit head. So this one looks pretty cool. As you could see, we do have quite a nice, like, it looks like a nice center eye. I feel like this one's almost the most practical of the bunch for whatever reason. But I do like this one as well. And now we're using the Brotherhood of Steel paint. So I thought this one's pretty funny. If you saw a bunch of Brotherhood of Steel running up to you like this, how would you guys react? You know what? Let's have a challenge. If we get this video to, let's say, 300 likes, I'll make a battle video between regular Brotherhood of Steel knights and then a bunch of people in this type of armor, basically cat or bunny Brotherhood of Steel knights, and we'll we'll do a battle between those and see who reigns supreme. So I think that'd be a pretty funny video. But nonetheless, yeah. So I do like this one as well. But now let's go check out this armor in action and see what it could do. So I totally missed this before, but there's actually a cat hoodie you could put on. So as you can tell, it's like a little hoodie that goes over everything with some cat ears sticking out. And uh, it does have a Far Harbor thing. It's literally like a massive t-shirt over the power armor, which is pretty funny. As well as there's actually something you could put on the legs called uh, their kneecaps and there are those little ammo bags. So if you look at the left leg or the right leg right now, you can tell that it, there's like that empty space where you could see the power armor frame well there's actually a piece you could put on there and i put it on the left leg and this is obviously being reversed so uh, the left is on your right yeah whatever and uh, you could see it's covered up there so i think that's actually a pretty cool addition as well as those little ammo bags do increase your carrying capacity so this mod does have a lot of features which is really cool but uh, yeah so let's go again finally check it out in action and let's do this so it does appear uh we do have quite a few super mutants over there these are some pretty high power enemy or high very powerful enemies i'm using the lk05 i made a video about this a few days ago and with that let's just get right into it and uh it does look like they're gonna notice me but are they gonna fight me oh yep they are okay okay so uh, oh i'm not actually immortal and i have no way of stim packing myself but you know what we are oh yeah and there's some brotherhood of steel over there so we can create a little fight if we want but you know what this lk05 isn't cutting it so uh let's go uh switch weapons from one of the other guns So these are guns from, uh, whatchamacallit, from Modern Firearms, and, uh, well, let's check out this one first. 
<laughs> so this is supposed to be like some insane anti-tank rifle. As you can see, we are pretty much destroying these guys in one hit with it. So it, it is really loud if I'm talking really loud. And uh, let's try out the minigun now. Yeah. <laughs> Again, if I'm not talking, it's because uh, it's kind of difficult for me to hear. There's a lot going on in my headphones right now. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> the power armor is performing quite, quite well. We did not die yet, which is good. And uh, we are mowing these guys down. Obviously, it doesn't have the fastest fire rate, but uh, that does. And oh, it looks like this has a... Oh, so that's, that car's going to blow up. But uh, that it does look like this thing does have a much bigger clip than the other gun there. So let's uh, try and get some bats action going because that always gives us better shots of the power armor. So yeah, you can see the cat ears on me right now. That's actually really funny. So uh, they do glow pretty well, actually, which is pretty cool. I am happy about that. And uh, yeah, so we could just continue to mow these guys down. If you're wondering why I'm in third person, I always get questions about this. And uh, people yell at me because my aim is not the best in third person. But uh, I do like being able to see the armor. I mean, we're making a, mod, or a video about an armor mod. May as well be able to see the armor. And wow, these guys are tank. Okay, that one I killed. But these guys are pretty tanky. Uh, so, but fortunately, uh oh, a piece of our armor did break there. So that looks like we lost an arm. And as you can see, we actually still do. Oh, okay. We're, we're, maybe I should stop talking. But uh, we did lose a leg as well. But uh, we do still have that cool. I did make sure to get in with the pilot suit. So we still do have the pretty cool under barrel thing. I did make a video about some unique power armors recently because I said I'm not a huge fan of what the under the what's under the power armor looks like. So this is a fun gun. And uh, yeah, I think that might be about everyone. Uh, we could go twist the tide and take on the Brotherhood of Steel now. We look like terrifying with our cat t-shirt on and everything. But uh, so let's switch to the minigun again. Oh, I had to reload. And you know what? Let's go. Let's go be traitorous. Let's go take on the Brotherhood of Steel, and let's be even extra traitor traitorous. Let's blow up my own. Oh, I just blew my my own power armor up. Oh my God! Wow! I just took out that guy in like one shot. So yeah, let's try the minigun again with this crazy cat power armor. Let's see. Can we blow this guy down? I'm only shooting him in the arm. And oh god, look at that. That's terrifying. The cat armor and all. And as you can see, we are mowing down some Brotherhood of Steel Knights right now. So who's the true Brotherhood of Steel? Also, also I forgot to mention, I'm using the railroad armor. So that's something I probably should have said. And uh, do, I think we one-shot them. So let's blow this last one away. And there you go. And then I have some, uh, also have some raiders. So let's see, how, how good's my aim? All right, there you go. And there looks like there's a few more over here. Or they were over oh no those are dead raiders so yeah so i think that's about it ladies and gentlemen i do hope you enjoyed this episode of fallout 4 mods and uh the cat power armor pretty terrifying so the most powerful woman in the world right here guys as always i thank you guys for watching i do hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you all next time later